learned some techniques from him. Like, I would massage him too because he was like coaching me. Mm -hmm. I did like maybe five or so with him. Mm -hmm. I mean, one, I could only do it for like 30 minutes because my hands are like yeah. not conditioned for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I wanted to really feel so whenever I, I can like touch clients yeah. to see, like, ooh. I can see why you have low back problems. My hamstrings? Tight. Let me know if that bothers your knee, but you know, your knee being in tension like that. That's good. Yeah, you have a lot of fibrosis, and you can actually feel it. never seen someone with that much fibrosis in a hamstring. <laughs> it's funny because I haven't, I never get those worked on even when I do get massages. And well, hamstrings are a very important, you know, group of muscle when it comes to low back pain. Uh, that makes total sense. A lot of people have overly tight hamstrings and they're weak glutes. Yeah. So I touch their glutes and it's like, you know, cotton candy. Yeah. And then I touch their hamstrings and it's like a rock. Oh, yeah. And they're like, oh, my low back hurts. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Yep. Yeah, some people can't tie their glutes at all. Teach a bunch of handstands and I try to like teach people like I mean some people can't do like a anterior and posterior pelvic tilt. Mm -hmm. There's like literally training the basics of that. Yeah. My physical therapist just had me literally start by standing up out of a chair without using my hands. Oh yeah. Which I didn't even realize I hadn't done forever. Right. And then after like a session or two, well he actually got me, he introduced bands to it the second session did that and then afterwards he started having me do um single leg um deadlifts. Oh yeah. that he progressed me to something I don't think it was a pistol squat because that was just coming up out, out of a chair Amazing. but it looked yeah. similar to a pistol yeah, squat totally. and I would kick one leg forward and then stand up out of the chair yeah well, at least what I've seen people online when they call something a pistol squat they go much deeper yeah yeah your ass is basically both your butt is on the floor. Mm -hmm. Close to it. Yeah, I saw that one guy on Instagram. He would do a pistol squat and then tie his shoe. Oh, his wow. shoe. Yeah. I used to do tons of pistol squats.
Mm. Yeah, I know that's intense. I know I hurt myself once on one of my coworkers. He was a lot smaller than me, so he got on the table. He walked on my hamstrings with his knees. Oh, shit. That wasn't too much. Oh, it was good. So I had a woman, I was about to tell her to relax, but then I heard her snoring. <laughs> and I realized, oh, she is relaxed. I mean, she's, well, she's sleeping. Yeah. Definitely. But she literally was, she literally bent her leg like this to help me while she was sleeping. Wow. In the birthing class, we learned that. This lady had a baby mm -hmm. naturally while she was in a coma. Oh wow! And her body just birthed the baby. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I didn't go. I didn't look into the comments or get those to the video, but I think I saw a video on the Inst was it? No, it was on Reddit. Cause I don't, yeah, I don't know if they were let this on Instagram or TikTok. Yeah. A woman, the baby just kind of fell out. Wow. I thought it was like a like a baby doll and it was like a joke at first but right. like I saw some of the comments like oh that she just gave birth like that's crazy someone said it's very un it's very rare for that to happen right but she was just standing up and it just came out wow it was a very big baby too I was like I don't I don't I don't understand that yeah apparently my neighbor was in labor for 36 hours oh wow and then her husband <laughs> like he's a client of mine mm -hmm. His sister told me, like, they were up there, you know, for, like, 24 hours, and mm -hmm. she was still in labor, mm -hmm. and he was going to go home and, like, get him some snacks and stuff like that. Yeah. And he fell asleep at home. Oh, my God. <laughs> they couldn't get a hold of him mm -hmm. for hours. Uh, that dude fell asleep for, like, eight hours. <laughs> and he woke up, the baby was born. Yes, literally. I'm like, oh my gosh. My wife would kill me. Yeah. Gotta have that phone on. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what? That I just could not let that happen, you know? Gotta have the volume all the way up. <laughs> he was like, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your wife is in there just struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, progressive muscle relaxation something you can look into. I, I went to YouTube and I typed in progressive muscle relaxation for athletes because a lot of it is more um, energy. And I don't have any problem with that, but, you know, some people don't want to hear, you know, the universe and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of it's, like, for relaxation, but I try to get people to do it not to relax, but to actually, like, feel their body, yeah. feel the muscles contracting. There's, like, a thing. A technique with stretch stretching it's like contract and relax oh yeah mm -hmm. like you're supposed to contract stretch deeper mm -hmm. relax and yeah. contract the muscle hold I it i forget that that's because of like pnf yeah the pnf i think pnf is a type of yeah stretch, there's, there's, yeah. there's like several different ways yeah. to do it i was taught like PNF. protagonist yeah 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 that's a good pnf is was it proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation that was how I it out. That was what I was taught at school. Yeah. But I later found out that that is a it's a just one type of oh yeah contract yeah. and relax stretching. And I remember someone else asking me a question, like another coworker, and she's like, "Oh, I do this stretching," and it turned out it was P and F, just a different yeah, just a different name. Different certification. But 
I think personal trainers tend to be more familiar with people. I've seen a few yeah. personal trainers doing that on YouTube. nowhere near as tight. You can feel that. Like the pain level on the other side was like mm -hmm. three times as much. I think this one's not painful. <laughs> nearly as much fibrosis. You're, this is like a normal level. A lot of people tend to have it right here. Yeah. And this, you have a little bit up here, but yeah, as I'm scraping down, I don't think you even feel any more of that crunch crunchiness. It's the crazy. other side was louder. Hmm? I can hear the other side. Yeah. There's a little bit here. to some poison ivy. <laughs> you can stretch your, your quads are it and hip flexors are as tight so you can go all the way down the other side yeah. but it's just roughly right around here there's a bit more tension I have to force it yeah here it's just pretty easy <laughs> 